Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I want to share with you our Sunlight Box Day. We went ahead and went with the History Bible Literature Level D, which is um, American history. It is the first half. I think it stops right before the Civil War. So I'm really, really excited about this. Um, I did want to share before I get started that I did buy this used. So it is the 2015 edition, um, but I saved over 50% doing it this way. So I was really excited um, because I didn't know if we were going to be able to do sunlight this year, um, if I was going to have to buy it full price. So this worked out perfectly. Don't mind my cat. He is on the table right now with me. Um, but I didn't know if we were going to be able to do this if I wasn't able to find it used. So I'm really excited. Um, the instructor's guide was 50 and then the um, all the books I paid like 360 to 399 on eBay for. So um, I think I spent around 225, which is over half percent half percent off um, what it would be new. So I'm really excited. Um, I want to go ahead and dive right in and show you guys the instructor's guide. Hold on just one second here. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is this map that it comes with. This is really awesome, and we will be using this in a lot of our lessons from what I've seen. And then something else that I really love about the binder um, is these tabs on the side. These are really great. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up to week one and show you guys how it has everything laid out for you, which is really awesome. Don't mind the eraser shavings that are everywhere. I was erasing stuff um, with this right by me and they literally got everywhere. Anyway, off on a tangent. So it shows you everything you need to do for Bible for the week. It shows you everything you're gonna be doing for history and geography, read alouds, and then um, readers. And then it also has this awesome extra area for writing down um, what you're doing for your other subjects like math and science and stuff. So I'm really, really excited with how organized this is. And this one actually came with the language arts. I, we're not going to be using the language arts though, um, but it did come with it in here. So I mean, honestly, if I would have bought all of this new, including the language arts on Sunlight's website and including this binder, cause this is separate as well, I think the total would have been I want to say it's 464 for the um, HBL, which is all the books and the instructor's guide, but that's without the binder. The binder is like 20 or 30, and then the language arts is like 47, I think. So I only spent 225 for all of this, and it would have been way more than that buying it new. That's not to say that I won't ever buy new, because if I have the money, I probably will. I do want to support the company. I think this is amazing. But this year, I just really couldn't afford to buy new. And since it's our first year using it, I want to make sure that I like it before I invest that kind of money anyway. But um, so here is, let's look at day one. So here's everything for Bible. And it just kind of tells you what you're doing again. And then there's some extra information. And then history and geography, um, what you're reading, and then it has discussion questions and answers. So that's awesome. Um, I'm really excited to dive into the discussion questions and see how well my son's comprehending all of this. Because like last year with our history, there wasn't a whole lot of like reading comprehension going on. Sorry, my cat is all over the place right now. Um... <laughs> I probably should have done this when he was sleeping, but I really, really wanted to get it done. Um, so, and then also you'll see here there's timeline and map activities. I haven't purchased the timeline yet, nor have I purchased the um, big map that they can write on. And I don't know if I'm going to or not. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to, but I did purchase the lap book that goes with this. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I will be doing a whole unboxing of that for you guys as well. So stay tuned. But, um, and then it has the read alouds here and it also has vocabulary. So we don't need anything separate for vocabulary, which is awesome because his language arts also includes vocabulary. So we are covered there. And then it also has questions, um, to help with like reading comprehension and stuff like that. So here's all the questions. So awesome. And then it goes into the reader that he's going to be reading and questions for that as well. 
So that is pretty much the instructor's guide. I'm not going to go super deep into it because I will be doing other videos um, with this in the future. Trust me, I'll be talking about this a lot. If it works for us or if it doesn't, I will be doing other videos on it. So the first thing I want to show is the Bible stuff that we have to do for this. And um, the first thing is the American Indian Prayer Guide. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. There's a prayer in there for each group of Native Americans that you're working on. I'm excited for this. And then the next thing is the Discoverer's Bible. Um, so this, this is basically just my oldest son's, his own Bible that he's going to be using for the year and um, reading all of his stuff out of. It's just nice black and white. Um, it has some pictures in it. But that's what we'll be doing for Bible. There is the option to do um, the CD, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. It just depends on um, if I have the extra money to buy it from Sunlight. But the reason I'm not sure if I'm doing it is because some of the reviews I've seen, eh, it's just not something I really think we need to do. But I'm going to go ahead and go into what we're going to be reading for read alouds. And then I will go into history. So the first book we're going to be reading is Walk the World's Rim. And seriously, all these books are in amazing condition that I bought off of um, eBay. Lawn Boy. The Sign of the Beaver. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's a little hard. <laughs> the Witch of Blackbird Pond, which I've had this for a few years, and I really, really want to read it, so I'm excited that it is with this curriculum. Johnny Tremaine. Tolliver's Secret. Carry On, Mr. Bowditch. The Candy Makers. And I really am excited about this one. This was actually a book that I wanted to read with my kids for next year without, before I bought this used. Um, this doesn't come with the current edition of Sunlight. So when I saw this on the list, I was really excited. But it is a hefty book. Very thick. But I think this is the one I'm most excited for. Justin Morgan Had a Horse, Calico Bush, The Journeyman, and Swift Rivers. And there are two more books that I am missing. Um, I am waiting to get them on eBay when the price drops for them. Um, it's Tree in the Trail and the Secret of the Sealed Room. The prices right now on there are uh, like $15 to $20 for those books. So I'm just waiting to see if the price drops. And if not, then I'll just look somewhere else or we'll find something else to read for those. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show, sorry for my arm. I am trying to do this one handed and it is harder than I expected it to be. The next thing I'm going to show is my son's readers for the year. We have A Lion to Guard Us. Pocahontas and the Strangers, Squanto, The Thanksgiving Story, The Courage of Sarah Noble, The Matchlock Gun, The Skip Pack School, Meet George Washington, Phoebe the Spy, the Cabin Faced West, The Bears on Hemlock Mountain, Omcasto, I think that's how you say it, Meet Thomas Jefferson, Sarah Witcher's Story, Robert Fulton, and last one is Sarah Plain and Tall. So that is what he will be reading for the year on his own. And now I'm going to show you guys what we will be doing for history. 
Okay, so for history, the first one we will be reading is Pedro's Journal. Okay. The next one is the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Bound for Burma. And I've heard a lot of really good things about these missionary stories, so I'm really excited to dive into this one. Incans, Aztecs, and Mayans. From Sea to Shining Sea. The Light and the Glory. The Very First Americans. What's the Big Idea, Ben Franklin? And then what happened, Paul Revere? If you were there when they signed the Constitution. North American Indians. In the winter at Valley Forge. So I'm excited that these include um, picture books as well. I'm really excited about that. So some of these are picture books and that's great. And now I'm kind of going to show you like the spine of the history, I guess. Um, we have the landmark history of the American people from Plymouth to the West. And I've heard mixed reviews on this. Um, some say it's boring, some love it. But I plan to form my own opinion on it and not really go by how others feel about it. I'm excited to see how that is. And then the last book I have to show is the Smithsonian Children's Encyclopedia of American History. And this has to be the one I was the most excited about. I love encyclopedias. I love Smithsonian encyclopedias especially. So I'm super excited to dive into this next school year. Um, it does have like a torn out page there. But I did buy it used for like $4. So I can't really complain. But here's the table of contents. It has some awesome pictures in it. I'm really excited about this one. I'm just going to give you guys like a quick flip through. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. But we are so, so excited to use sunlight next year. Um, I can't believe I was able to get it used for such a cheap price and I will definitely keep you guys updated and I will be doing other um, videos pertaining to this. I do have one planned to do um, to show you guys like more into the Bible section of it and I also have one planned to show you guys um, what a day or possibly a week in sunlight looks like. I haven't decided if I'll just do a day or a week yet. Um, but yeah, I have some plans coming. Um, I don't know when those videos will be going up but stay tuned. And if you've used Sunlight or if you're using Sunlight next year, please comment below and let me know which HBL level you're using and what you've thought about it so far. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.